Hello class 8. In our last class, we discussed about graphites and the topic that we left was differences between diamond and graphite. But today we are going to discuss about it. Although we have mentioned its differences between. Um, first, according to color, pure diamond is colorless and transparent, whereas graphite is black opaque and shiny in nature. Based on the nature, in diamond as we know it is the hardest natural substance, whereas graphite is a soft and slippery to touch. In density, diamond has a density of 3.5 gram per centimeter cube, whereas graphite has a density of 2.2 gram per centimeter cube. On electrical conductivity, Diamond is a bad conductor of electricity that means it does not conduct electricity and graphite is a good conductor of electricity. Now, effect of heat, what happens to the diamond when the temperature is increased? It burns in the air above 700 to 800 degrees Celsius to form carbon dioxide. It also burns in the air at 700 degrees Celsius to form carbon dioxide. So these are the differences between diamond and graphite. Now the next Allotropic form crystalline allotropic form of carbon is purines. This is the most recently discovered crystalline allotropic form of carbon. This allotropic form of carbon was discovered in 1985 by three scientists H. W. Kuto, R. F. Pull, and R. E. Smiley. They were awarded the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1996 for this discovery as well. Now let us see what is the uh, structure for this fluorine. A molecule of fluorine can have about 30 to 900 atoms of carbon. So a fluorine atom, a fluorine sorry, a fluorine compound can have 30 to 900 atoms of carbon. For example, C32, C50, C70. That means this is the number of carbon atom, and so on. Molecules of fluorine form either a closed case, so fluorine can form either a closed case structure or a cylinder in shape. The molecules of the first fluorine prepared in 1985 are composed of 60 carbon atoms. So the first fluorine that was prepared has got 60 carbon atoms, C60. The C60 arrangement of carbon atoms structures designed by the American architect R. Buckminster Fuller. Fuller. The structure is over here. You can see the structure, dome-like structure. Hence, the carbon-60 molecule was named Buckminster fluorine after him. The shape of the Buckminster fluorine or a bucky ball looks like a saucer ball. Soccer ball and has 12 pentagonal and 20 hexagonal faces they have got 20 pentagonal uh, sorry 12 pentagonal means having five sides and hexagonal means having six sides properties of fluorines what kind of properties they will have buckyball is a yellow crystalline solid whereas fluorines can be dissolved in various solvent Some of the compounds of fluorine act as superconductors at a high temperature, that means they are very high electrical conductivity, they have got very high electrical conductivity. Next, uses of fluorines, where do you find the uses? Some compounds of fluorines are good conductors of heat and electricity, hence they have applications in electronic devices, so you can find in electronic devices, because they are good conductors of heat and electricity. Fluorines can be used in cancer as well as in AIDS therapy. And third one, they may be used in lubricants. Now, after the uses and discussing about, now we have got the assignment. First question is, what is fluorine? Question number two is, how many carbon atoms can fluorine have? Question number three, explain the structure of Buckminster fluorine. Question number four, mention few properties of fluorines 
and question number five write the few uses of foods so complete this assignment and send it in my mail